Welcome to Vermont Fish and Wildlife's Invasive Species Program LEAP. These videos and accompanying web pages will help you to locate, identify, evaluate and treat, and prevent the spread of these invasive species. This video covers Asian clams. The invasive species Asian clam is only distributed in Lake Bomazine, Vermont right now. Asian clams can be fairly easily identified. They're relatively small, somewhere between a half an inch to an inch in diameter for adult Asian clams. Uh, they're brownish tan with some black on it, but one of the really key identifying characteristics is that their shells have ridges on them that you can feel with your thumbnail. If you were to take your thumbnail and drag it down from the center of the, of the clam to the edge, you'll feel uh, your nail kind of bump over several uh, series of ridges. They, sh their shells grow in concentric circles and each of those circles forms a ridge on the shell. Well, Asian clam was just discovered in Bombazine in 2016, so we really don't know much about what the potential uh, impacts or existing impacts are right now, but in other places where Asian clams have been established, they have uh, had several impacts that are similar to zebra mussels where they've been known to clog the intakes of water systems. So uh, factories, plants, um, private residences that draw waters from the lake, Asian clams can get into those water pipes and clog them up. Um, ecologically, they're filter feeders, and so they pull plankton out of the uh, water and they will impact the, the base of the food web. Essentially, they can also grow in fairly dense um, blankets on the bottom of the lake, which will suffocate native uh, mussels and other um, bottom-dwelling organisms. So, in areas where Asian clams are very, very dense, there has been some success in other areas controlling Asian clams in lakes by covering them with what's called a benthic blanket. It's basically a heavy rubber mat and it basically blocks out and chokes and suffocates the Asian clams. The best way to prevent the spread of Asian clam, like many invasive species, is to uh, just ensure that when you're moving uh, boats or fishing gear or any kind of water recreational uh, equipment from one lake to another that you take certain precautions that we like to call clean, drain, and dry. That's really the best way to prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species. For more information about Asian clams, contact Vermont Fish and Wildlife.